Hi guys and welcome to the National Music Academy vlog. Today I'm here to tell you all about the amazing benefits of joining APRA. So guys, today I'm here to tell you about um, the benefits of joining APRA. Now, APRA is the Australasian Performing Rights Association. And basically what they are is an uh, association for you to join if you're a songwriter, um, music maker, composer. Um, if anybody's into making music or performing live music, then this is the association that you really need to join. APRA is here to protect your music. The moment that you create a piece of music or um, create a, a song or whatever it is, however you're doing it, you actually automatically have copyright to that. And APRA is the association that's there to protect that for you. So apart from the fact that APRA protects your music, what else do they do? So there's a couple of things that you need to know when it comes to working with APRA. One is that it's completely free. There's no cost involved. And APRA essentially is I like to think of it as being double paid for a gig when you play original music. So you go to the bar or the venue on the weekend and you get paid, might be $200, $300 for playing your original music. A Couple months later, because people have paid to listen to your art, because your music is art, you actually get a distribution of royalties from people hearing that. I'll get into a bit how that works later, but APRA then distributes that. So essentially it's free and you can get double paid. Now, the second uh, thing that APRA does is that they have an elaborate network of songwriters and, and creators. There's 100,000 members in APRA, and what it means is that you get in touch with like-minded people who are in the same area, who might be the same age and have similar interests to you. Coming together with people like that is so incredibly important just for creating a musical culture in Australia and, and putting people together. Now the third reason um, that I'd be joining APRA is that they put on so many industry and networking events. You know, you get to meet um, industry leading songwriters, composers, touring managers, artists. They, they often put on all these um, really amazing events for the up and coming musicians to be able to get access to the expertise that's in the industry, but also so that they can guide you through the development of your art. So how does it work? It's really simple, there's three steps. Click the link below, again, sign up put your name your details your artist name even if you have multiple artists that you play under if you have a duo a band a, a solo act register all of them it's completely free step two register your songs if you've just written a song you can go online you can register it you need the composers who who made the song you need how long it is and you do have the option to upload an actual track of that but you don't need to and basically doing that registers that piece of work as your art, no one else has, has any claim to it. Step uh, three, sorry, you go on, after you've done a live performance, you say where you performed, how long you performed for, and what you performed. So it might be that you played at a, a venue, a cafe on the weekend, and you played 10 of your songs that, that are your own originals. Then it goes in there, you can create a set list in APRA as well, and then after a couple months, when it comes to the distribution date, you actually get paid again, not only for doing that gig, but for people hearing your art. Now, how all of this, uh, I guess, revenue is created that, all venues or radio stations, anywhere where there's music being played, like a radio, or it might be live music if it's a venue, they have to pay to be able to showcase your art. Now that is super important when it comes to how, I guess Australians protect the art and the music of our people. Because the bigger the venue, the more people will hear you. The bigger the radio station, the more people will hear you. And therefore, the bigger the venue, the bigger the radio station that gets to, that you get your music on, the more of the royalty that is paid. I'm gonna pass over now to Carolyn McKnight, who came here to our open day in January, who gave a bit of a, a showcase and a, and a workshop on APRA and what its benefits are. So you can hear it straight from her um, as to why, why you should actually join APRA. So we are, um, APRA, we've been around since about 1926 and and since 97 and we've kind of banded together. Two different kinds of organisations together looking after this kind of couple of different sets of rights. Our job is uh, to look after songwriters and composers and to make sure that we are collecting royalties for you whenever and wherever your musical works are used. Really your job is just when you write a new song, register it and do your performance reports. That's pretty much it. All the other stuff's done for you. 
We start to get radio airplays, streaming, anything like that, it's all collected for you. There you have it guys, if you're a songwriter or a music creator in The Hunter, please, 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 you don't have to be an NMA student. If you're an NMA student, that's fantastic, but you just jump online, you click the link, you register your works and start helping yourself to, I guess, make it sustainable to be a musician, to protect your art, to protect your copyright, and yeah, get paid for people hearing your music. Thanks guys.